Hi, in this video, we'll walk through the steps of connecting to the weather server. All right, so let's open the project. Okay, we're in Kyle. And so I'm going to set a few breakpoints uh, in order to show you strategic spots. I'm going to put one here uh, where we connect. And I'm going to put one here in get IP host. This one's very interesting. Um, and I'm going to put one in get weather. All right. All right. So I have some breakpoints in there. I've got my microcontroller connected. Uh, and so we're going to build the project. And I'm going to download the code uh, into the hardware. Remember, there is no simulation for this project, so you have to always only test, you can only test it on the real board. Now, there are three components that you have to change in the code in order to make it work for your uh, access point. Uh, there is the SSID name or the name of the access point, and in this application, the access point is called Valvanum. And the second is the type of encryption. And this uh, access point is a WPA encryption, and its pass phrase, the password, is Calvin50. So these three lines are the three lines you will have to change in order to connect to your access point. All right, let's debug. Debug. All right, so. Um, as you're um, debugging, uh, these first initializations um, will initialize, this particular one here will initialize the CC3100. So if the simple link start function were to fail, that would mean that your CC3100 is either broken or your launch pad is broken. Step over. Okay, so now let's step into the connect and see what happens. Step in. All right. So this is where we connect to our access point. Remember the three parameters, the access point name, the encryption type, and the password. Uh, our encryption type was WPA. Uh, yours might be WEP, or you may have an open network. If yours is not one of these three, then try changing the access points configuration so that it can be one of these three just for uh, this project, and then you can turn it back to whatever it has to be by default. All right, so let's step over, and this line here is the line which will actually connect uh, the CC3100 to the access point. And so you can see that we've uh, properly connected, and so we're done and can return. All right, all right. Next, uh, let's get the weather. All right, so we're gonna run into get weather, and we'll step into here, okay? And the first thing we have to do is the translation between the server name. This is the openweathermap.org server name and get the IP address, the public IP address of that server. John, can we look at the app data host name? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, so we can look, we can put it into our watch window. Sure, add to watch. And there it was already there. Oh, it's okay. And so we can see that the host name uh, here, um, oh, it hasn't been copied yet. Yes. All right, so step over. Okay. okay. So we can see here that the uh, host name is called openweathermap.org. Uh, All right. The interesting thing that Ramesh told us last time is how do we translate this logical name, this, this string, openweathermap.org, into the actual IP address of the, of the server? And that is done with the domain uh, name system here, which will ask the internet Here's a name, uh, where are you, okay? And so this is the translation between the logical uh, address and the physical address. So let's step over. 
Okay. Right there. Step over. Okay, we just ran get host IP address. Let's look at the public address of the server. And that's here in this destination IP field. Uh, Ramesh, what does this mean? So that is a 32-bit number. And you can read it as uh, in the dot format. So you just break it down. Uh, there's eight hex digits. So we're looking at 904C5314. All right. So All right. Ramesh is good at his math. So let's open up a, a Firefox here mm -hmm. and uh, convert so, that for me. So Ramesh. that's uh, 144.76.83. Dot two zero. Okay, so that's the public address of the server, we hope. Does it work? Oh, there it is. Hey, you're a genius, Ramesh. All right, so you know how to break it down uh, from a 32-bit number to read it in the dot format. Okay. All right, let's keep going. here. So we got the address of the, of the public server. Okay, so now what we're going to do is form a string. Okay, so if you look at the uh, address of this, you see this is 2,564. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is put that number into the memory. It was 564, right? 564, mm -hmm. right here. And this is the string that we are going to send to the server. All right, so let's send it. Okay, okay. send, send. Step over. So we've just sent a TCP packet uh, to the server, and we say, hey, server, what's the weather in Austin? And so the well, next thing to do is to um, read its response. All right. So let's find the uh, where the response is. So we'll go back to our watch window, and that's the receive buffer here. And we can see the receive buffer is at uh, 2,164. Four. So we go back to the memory and we type in 2164. And I've, uh, I've set this up in, in um, ASCII mode. So if you don't see it looking like ASCII, set it to ASCII mode. All right, so let's receive the response. Okay, step over. And there it is. Um, what's the weather in Austin like today? Clear. So it says clear. Ooh, let's uh, look out the window, see if it's right. The sky is clear. Yeah, it's looking out the window. It looks a little partly cloudy, actually, <laughs> Ramesh. All right, what's the temperature out there? So we got to go riding bikes. Ooh, about 15 degrees. That'll be a nice bike riding. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so your next step is to parse this message that you received and and extract the key pieces of information and render it on your on your LCD. Display. All right, let's make one little change here. Let's. Uh, where do you want to know the weather of Ramesh? Um, let's, let's pick some place. Let's that, pick. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's try Dallas, Texas, or uh, New York City. New York City. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to change the string here so that it says New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. New. I think it'll take a blank space, maybe. New York. Yeah. So right. if there's a blank space in your city name, then make sure you put it with uh, uh, the percentage two zero. That's the blank space character uh, in the in the internet context. Yep. That's ASCII for space. All right. All right. So we got a build. Uh, download. Hope it's snowing there. What do you think? All right. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right. Okay. And so we'll just go ahead and run. And we got some breakpoints. Keep running. More breakpoints. More breakpoints. Yeah. More breakpoints. One more. And there we go. And right. it says uh, the current sky is clear. Sky is clear. But it's uh, 2.79 degrees Ooh. centigrade. All right. So I'm glad we're in Austin. <laughs> All right. So so um, you you can try this out. Uh, what we expect you to do is to 
to single step and learn everything about how the device has to be first configured uh, once it's configured you know that your device is working launchpad is working and then you make sure you're able to connect to your access point once that is through then you know whether your access point is giving you connection to a domain name service that gives you an IP address and once you get an IP address you communicate with the server send it the message and re receive a response and parse it and display it back so um, learn all these steps because you'll be um, kind of mimicking the same thing in your lab except you'll be talking to a different ser server all right that's how it works have fun <laughs>